Hi, it's Thanksgiving week. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday because it's all about spending times with the ones you love, sharing good food and making happy memories, and not having to worry so much about finding the perfect gift. However, I am fully aware of how stressful and hectic the holidays can be for us, especially around food. So I wanted to give you and your families a few quick tips to walk away feeling full of happy memories and not necessarily feeling uncomfortably full from eating too much again. Um, and the well, holidays are a really wonderful time for us to model some great behavior around food for our kids um, when it comes to those holiday feasts. So number one, Focus more on the people and not on the food. We tend to spend all day with our families on Thanksgiving and we're always surrounded by food. So instead of sitting near that tray of trips, chips and dip or pumpkin bread, take the conversation elsewhere. Turn your attention to your family and spend time with them. Talk to them, play games, get outside for some fun, fresh air and movement while that turkey roasts. Um, number two, choose your favorite foods. So it's really unrealistic going into the holidays thinking you're not gonna make any indulgences, right? There's no way I'd miss out on my mom's homemade pies. So instead of trying to avoid the indulgent foods, choose wisely. Teach your kids to survey the situation. Teach them about appetite. They likely don't have room for everything available to them on these big all day food feasts. So talk to them about what their favorite foods are and make sure that they save room to enjoy them. And the same goes for you. Do you really wanna fill up on those store-bought cheese and uh, crackers or the mashed potatoes Aunt Betty made from a box? You can get those foods any day of the week, so save your appetite for those special dishes you really look forward to year after year. Um, and finally, my number three tip is go in with a plan. I want you to take the time to visualize what you would need to do to walk away from that Thanksgiving table feeling comfortable and really happy with your choices. Maybe you know you're notorious for eating appetizers all day and sitting down at the table really not feeling hungry at all, or going back for seconds at dinner um, and then topping it all off with some, you know, several desserts. Instead of avo avoiding, I want you to avoid that feeling of having to unbutton your pants and really not feeling great at the end of the dinner. Um, so play out the opposite scene in your mind. From the moment you walk through that door at mom and dad's house, what would be different for you? Maybe you hold a glass of sparkling water in your hand while everybody is working on their third beer. Or um, maybe you choose to fill up one plate instead of going back for seconds. Think about your usual challenges ahead of time before you walk into that lion's den, trying to battle it out with sheer willpower. Have a plan of attack. So those are my three tips for dealing with the onslaught of holiday food madness. If you need some healthy recipe ideas, check out some of my special holiday recipes under the Cooking Up Confidence tab uh, on my website. I hope you all have a beautiful, happy Thanksgiving with your family.